ChatGPT plugins are absolutely groundbreaking. You can think about ChatGPT as this super genius professor, but there's a catch. He was locked up somewhere on an island back in 2021 and doesn't have access to any new information. And that's because the language model was trained on data before 2021. And that's exactly where ChatGPT plugins come in. They allow ChatGPT to access real world data, connect to third party apps and even browse the internet. Today we're diving into the best ChatGPT plugins for productivity and beyond. But first, let's set up the mood. I got ChatGPT open and let's create our very first prompt. I want to create a minimal techno playlist, ideally royalty free. And to do this, we're going to be using Playlist AI plugin. Let's have a listen. We're ready. First things first, let's enable plugins. You can click on these three dots under the account, click on settings, and then here under better features, you have here plugins, and let's enable browse as well. Plugins are only available to people who have a subscription, which costs $20 a month. If you're hesitating, this is by far the highest return on investment type of subscription you can get. It literally saves me at least five hours every week. So just do it. It's amazing. Now that plugins are activated, you'll need to click on new chat, click on GPT-4, and here in the dropdown, select plugins. Then let's click on the dropdown again, and you can go all the way down to see the plugin store. You can go through this 50 pages individually, or you can find the best ones. Let's type something like Keymate AI, and let's hit install. Some plugins will require additional authentication to reduce abuse. So here, let's sign in with Google. This specific plugin, Keymate AI, will allow us to search the internet. If you click here in ChatGPT4, we have three modes. The default mode, which doesn't have any add-ons, then we have the browse mode, and then we have the plugins mode. If you pick browse mode, you will be able to browse the internet. The problem is you will not be able to use plugins. Therefore, you want to select plugins over here and you can pick up to three plugins that you can use at a time. Unfortunately, once you pick the plugins, you can no longer change your choice and you'll need to create a new chat later. I already have it enabled here. So let me explain ChatGPT plugins conceptually. And there is our second plugin and the second prompt. Explain ChatGPT conceptually. Plugins enhance the capability of the model by allowing it to access up-to-date information, run computation, and use third-party services. This looks like a standard ChatGPT response that you're used to, but it is not, because technically ChatGPT cannot access information about plugins because they did not exist back in 2021. Let me show you what actually happened under the hood. You can click on this dropdown, and here you can see a request to Keymate AI Search, which is our plugin. ChatGPT passed on this query, how do ChatGPT plugins work? And then the plugin returned the following information. It scraped the web and gave us the body of an article. Here is the link to this article and the title. Here we have another one. And it seems like we've gotten three responses exactly like ChatGPT requested. Number of pages, three. Scroll down. So the information that was generated on this page use this data. And then here at the bottom, we have the references. Let me explain plugins visually so that it makes a little bit more sense. This plugin is called Show Me. I'm going to create a new chat. Click on plugins and enable Show Me. And there we have a simple diagram to visualize it. It's not rocket science, but what if it was? How would we approach learning it? And this is exactly what I use ChatGPT for. I want to learn rocket science. Show me a knowledge tree for learning this subject. But let's take a step back. If you do not know how to prompt ChatGPT for plugins specifically, you might not get the results that you're looking for. Here are a few practical tips to prompt plugins a little bit better. First, give ChatGPT a role. This will give you more specific and relevant information. Here's a generic prompt and a generalized output. This wasn't really useful at all. 
Now let's try something different. Let's give ChatGPT a role of my academic advisor. It has created me a year by year breakdown of the classes I should take with the class numbers, and that's way more useful. Tip number two, tell ChatGPT to use a specific plugin explicitly. ChatGPT automatically decides when to use a plugin and when not to use one. The plugin might be used in the wrong context, which will end up wasting you a bunch of time or not used at all. Tip three, try to break down your request into individual steps to get better results. Here I asked ChatGPT to make a list of Elon Musk's favorite songs, and it just ran with the task and gave me the top 10. But again, this is not the most up to date information. And then I reprompted and separated everything into two steps. First, we use the KeyMate plugin to search the web for Elon Musk's favorite songs. And second, we ask Playlist AI to create a Spotify playlist. And there we have it. Okay, finally, tip number four, you need to know what your plugin can actually do. And there is a website for that. The guys from AI Advantage has created this complete list of 369 plugins, great number. And then here you can search for a plugin such as Video Insights. There we have it. Let's click on open. And then here on the right side, you can see example prompts. And I think the coolest thing is that the type of commands you can invoke. Looks like Video Insights can give us video summaries and some metadata. Let's try it out. I recorded this video last week about scraping the web using ChatGPT. Let's get that video analyzed. Give me all the information available about this video. Here's the video summary. The video is 22 minutes long, so it's kind of nice to go through. But the problem is there's a lot of stuff I'm actually showing on the screen, so it won't fully cut it. The video ID, publication date, duration, 22 minutes and 53 seconds, views, like count, etc. If you make video content, this is going to be an amazing hack. Here I provided ChatGPT three links to YouTube videos about prompt engineering. So it went through each one of those videos, extracted the information and generated me an outline for a video that I could record. But it doesn't stop there. I then asked ChatGPT what all of these three videos have in common and what are the unique parts of each video. And the results were spot on. So far, we've covered plugins that can search the web and access video related data. But what about private data, such as LinkedIn profiles? Let's try. Give me information about this LinkedIn person. And can't do it. OK, let's try to be more specific. Use KeyMate search to scrape data from this page. And no success again. Doesn't work. None of those plugins can access information on websites that require login to view the information. The next plugin is called Bardeen, and it's a workflow automation tool. You can just type in what you want to automate, and there you have it. Create an automation using Bardeen to scrape LinkedIn profile and write a personalized outreach message. That's the link to our automation. Let's open it and click on try it to see the automation from the inside. I can open it in the builder and here we have a scraper action. Then we're creating a prompt using OpenAI to compose an email, find the email address of the person and create an email draft. Let's try it out. I'm going to go to my LinkedIn profile page, open the Chrome extension. You'll need to have it installed in order to use the automation. There are two arguments that I need to fill out, the sender name, or not, and the outreach prompt. Make friends with this person and say that you're a fan. Okay, it's going to be a contextual outreach message. Okay, and there is our outreach email. This looks like a person who researched me for hours wrote it because it has all of the keywords, Team Draper, Richard Branson, all of the businesses and companies I worked on. And all of this was created by prompting ChatGPT and a couple clicks. Reaching out to myself is obviously kind of useless. So let me show you another cool use case I found. Copy all of the comments for a LinkedIn post into a spreadsheet. ChatGPT is creating the automation. Let's go ahead and try it out. We're going to pick a spreadsheet. I'm going to create a new one. Let's call it LinkedIn comments. Let's provide it a LinkedIn post to scrape. And there we have the spreadsheet. Let's click on view. Boom. We have all of the people, their profile pages, the comment, 
this is just awesome. Then I can run the other automation to do automated outreach. That's three automations. You can download the Bardeen browser extension by going down through the description of this video. The next plugin is pretty mind blowing. It's called Wolfram and it adds computation and reasoning on top of ChatGPT. Here's how Steven Wolfram explained it. What do you think are the limitations of uh, large language models just to make it explicit? Well, I mean, I think that deep computation is not what large language models do. I mean, that's just, it's a different kind of thing. If you're trying to do many steps in a computation, the only way you get to do that right now now is by spooling out, you know, all the, the whole chain of thought as a bunch of words. It's a bizarre and inefficient way to do it. And the thing that you can do kind of off the top of your head type thing is, a, is really, you know, is good for large language models. And the things you do off the top of your head, you may not get them always right, but it's thinking th it through the same way we do. But what can it do exactly? Let me give you an example. Here we are on acquire.com. This is where startups get listed for sale and they provide all of their numbers. So let's copy this information. We have Wolfram enabled and let's ask ChatGPT to do financial analysis on the startup and paste the details. Here we have analysis on each individual part such as revenue, profit, multiple and the team, but no Wolfram yet. Let's make a more specific request. Instead of paying the full amount, I want to negotiate paying the asking price over the period of 12 months. This will enable me to make 15% return on the money that wasn't paid to the startup. How much money can I make extra if I negotiate these terms? Make a graph. And then Wolfram does its computation. So negotiating the payment term will generate me $30,500 extra. And here's my profit graph, the decaying function that I'll be making from that investment. Investment analysts at this point might be either super happy or out of the job. Wolfram Alpha is ridiculous for any type of computation, but there are a few other things that you might consider exploring. Here are some things that it can do. First, it can act as a database and it can have real time data from the stock market, for example. Yes, information about Pokemons, geographical data. You can do plotting geometry tap into the movies database and so much more. Frankly, Wolfram is its own universe, so you should explore it in a separate video. Okay, it's getting late and I'm getting hungry. Have you used ChatGPT? No. And what's your favorite dish? Pasta bolognese. Do you know how to spell it? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so let's click on ChatGPT4. We have here Instacart enabled. So I want to make pasta bolognese for two grown, huge, athletic dudes. <laughs> because I want the big portion. You know, usually you get recommendations for tiny, tiny portions. So you're breaking down all of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. And as you can tell, there are a lot of ingredients. All right, there are some instructions. So technically we can click on stop generation over here because I don't want the instructions of how to cook it. You already know it. Yeah. I'm going to click here. I'm going to say something like, can you order all of the ingredients? Sure, I've created the shopping list for you. You can click on the shopping list. Yeah, this is the delivery app. Here we have 12 ingredients and we can order all of them pretty much with one click. For delivery? Yeah. So you want bolognese? First you say, hey, I want bolognese. And then you can technically even do it with one prompt. The next thing you know, you don't need to read recipes, go to the grocery wow. store, organize. Does this look accurate? Pretty much. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this is useful? Of course. And this were the seven best ChatGPT plugins. You can find the links to all of them down in the description. Also, if you want to find more niche plugins, I'm going to leave a link to that resource with 300 plus plugins in the description. It's by AI Advantage. Check out their channel. They're pretty cool. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.